Lizzie McGuire's an outfit for Peter. I am not. It is still technically Sunday, so if you tuned in for the live chat, this is still happening. It's very late at night and I'm very tired, but let's do this. Did I just make a Lizzie McGuire reference? It is Monday, November 11th for you. Technically for me, it's still Sunday, but I'm talking all things writing and ink slinging because that is what Monday is here on Word Nerds. So where do I begin? For those of you doing NaNoWriMo, today is your 11th day in your writing stampede and congratulations on making it so far. If you haven't made your word count yet or falling behind in your word count, don't worry about it, don't stress. NaNoWriMo is all about the experience, not necessarily how much you get written and how much of it is actually usable writing. So just keep going. On that note, I'm going to talk about writing for word count and not content in first drafts. So you know what the hardest part is about writing a book? Starting it. Starting every new chapter, every new page, every new paragraph is so stressful. At least that's the way it is for me when I write my books. I find it really daunting to look at a blank screen and know that I have to fill it up with hopefully good words that people will want to read and have it be worthy of being read by the world. So sometimes, before I start, I am paralyzed. I don't know what to write, I don't know how to write it, I don't know if I'll be able to write it, so instead I write nothing. And for you NaNoWriMo's, this is not an option this month. I personally am not doing NaNoWriMo this month because of school and other publishing date responsibilities that I have deadlines for, so I am sadly sitting on the sidelines, but I'm cheering everybody on and I'm going to give you my advice for just barreling through. I participated in last year's NaNoWriMo and that's actually how I wrote a majority of Ignite. And it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of stress and there's very little sleep and a lot of candy. So it makes for an interesting month. When you sit down to write, I know it's scary to look at a blank screen and look at your word count and knowing that you've got a lot ahead of you, but you've got to push through that wall and just write, write like the wind. Want to know a secret? You ready for this? You ready? I'm gonna tell you the secret. Nobody, nobody writes a good first draft. Name an author. Nope. First draft is terrible. Name another one. Horrible. Garbage. Nobody can write a perfect first draft. Nobody. Your first draft is not supposed to be perfect. In fact, if it's perfect, you're doing something wrong. Or you're a witch. Are you a witch? Give me your secrets. Your first draft is supposed to be sloppy and messy and just kind of a page filled with your ideas and your emotions and the basic story. Where you make it pretty and presentable and publishable is in your revisions, which is what you can spend all of December and January on, like I did. Here's something you can focus on when you're writing that I find really important for NaNoWriMo. Establishing voice. I used to act in high school and middle school and like an actor steps into a role of a character, as a writer you have to be able to transition from one character to another and get their voice right. The demon slaying teenage girl will not have the same voice as the zombie that lives next door. The cancer survivor will not have the same personality as the gold medal gymnast that you're writing about. Everybody has a unique voice because they're people. They might be fictional people, but they still deserve a voice. How I establish voices is to really think about the character, understand their background. You don't have to write about their background, but you need to know in your mind what it is. Understanding where they came from, what they've experienced, can really help you establish how they might approach certain situations. So for example, in my story, Ignite, Penn and Aziel are brother and sister. While they may have had similar experiences growing up, they don't have the same viewpoint on the world. So for all of you NaNoWriMo's this month, best of luck, keep writing, don't worry about your word count. If the graph helps you focus, then look at it. If it just stresses you out, close the browser, you don't need to see that. Worry about the story you are telling and the voice of your character and really letting that shine through the story. Remember, NaNoWriMo is supposed to be fun, not torture. 
I will see you guys next Saturday. I hope you have a great week and that your word count will make it to what you hope it will be. And right on. <laughs> That's a pun. I didn't even think of it until after I said it, and it's a pun. Perfect. Wait, real quick before you go, I should plug right now before I forget, next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Word Nerds is having another live discussion, this time about publishing, the trifecta of publishing, self-publishing, indie publishing, and traditional publishing. We'll be talking literary agents, we'll be talking pitches, and query letters, and synopsis writing, and it's going to be a lot, and I hope you guys join us. It'll be here on our channel. We'll take questions through Twitter and in the live feed, and I hope you all can make it, and I'll let you go now. Go! Write! Quick! <laughs>